We got the handlebars cranked up. Yeah. Just oh, ripping on the war pony. Welcome back to the channel, 4J Equine and Bovine. This is the final episode, part three of our Idaho elk hunt. Stay tuned, and as always, hit the notification bell, like, and subscribe. Thanks. This country does look good though for hunting, I'll tell you that. I mean, he could probably pull that tree down, but hopefully not. <laughs> right. Just hold on to her. Because okay. as long as she's here. He's not going anywhere? She's not going anywhere. The donkey ain't. These two are pretty insufferable. Yeah, they get meals get attached to animals yeah. like my meals attached to my pony I have at home yeah and I mean that's just the way they go she doesn't like leaving him huh she doesn't like leaving the donkey yeah they both they're both pretty attached to him. even though the meal that's back at camp is pretty bad too yeah okay let's see well Hold on to her, I guess. I'm gonna take your pack off. Here. There. Like I said, worst case scenario, you do not let go of the mare. Right. Good girl, you're doing good girl. Find somewhere to tie her up at. Come on. Real fast, and then let me see her. Put that strap off.
some water bus or something? Yeah. few pieces up real quick. I don't know what he was doing. Oh. I mean it's a shelter I guess. Yeah, that's about all it is. He did uh on top getting the horses a little bit of grass where we head back down this is up in the country fence over there in those trees yeah about 10 miles in, another 10 miles for me to get back to the truck and trailer. Yeah, decent ride today. They got open in morning tomorrow, so hopefully, we get a call or a text with a big bowl down. Hopefully. Drop them off. Right. Fuel doesn't like us too much. No, not really. You guys have a good day. So this is day five, opening morning. Hunters are up top on top of the ridge about 10 miles in or so. We're back at camp. We're gonna stay down here till they shoot something then go up, pack it out. If they shoot something, whatever. They, they were on some bulls last night, got them bedded down. So we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Hopefully they get something today, it'd be ideal. Be able to pack everything out tomorrow and head on home. It's 18 degrees last night, it was a little cold. Right now we're up, we got the campfire going. Caleb's trying to warm up by the fire. Got the buckskin over there, he's hobbled. I got the mule and red tied. And then Caleb's are off somewhere over there. Tied and hobbled as well. Camp's not too bad, it's a little chilly this morning, but. <clears throat> I'll wait a little bit longer. Get everybody some water and then we'll probably start cooking up a pretty decent breakfast maybe some bacon and eggs today but yeah day five see how it goes keep you updated letting them graze Cooking up breakfast. We've got some refried beans, some eggs. I'm gonna eat with some tortillas and some hot sauce. Breakfast of champs right here. 
don't get much better. Well, this is pack out day. We're going up to see if they shot a bull or not. Figure, hopefully they did, we can pack everything out and head on home. If not, I guess we'll be packing them out anyway. So, I don't know, time to hit the trail. They're about 10 miles up. So it'll take us quite some time. And then we'll pack up camp, or hopefully they have everything packed up, throw it in panniers, and head on down the trail. This will be, yeah, yeah, this will be 80 miles in five days. So definitely covered some country, that's for sure. Definitely covered some country. I don't know. If they don't get anything, I guess it's not from us, not from lack of trying, that's for sure. <laughs> they come over here and make a wreck. Huh? So let's just go. All right, ten more, twenty more mile day. Let's go. Come on. How's it going? Huh? Filming us. Oh yeah. Without our approval. It's okay. I'm approving to see if there's any wrecks that happen because they don't like bikes. Oh yeah. Well, you guys got lucky, huh? Yeah, it was a good day. Have a good one. Hey, it's the guys who dropped up here got an elk or not. I doubt it. Got the handlebars cranked up, yeah, just ripping on the war pony. Come on, don't let's ride. Woo! <laughs> yeah, if you can't tell, this is a pretty boring road. Not gonna lie. I oh, got them all, got them all worked <laughs> up. Let's roll, donkeys. Well, Colton's about to get bucked off, so stay tuned. Won't be the first time this trip. He's a little spirited, that's all. A lot of go freaking arena horse isn't the greatest when it comes out here on the trails. If we get her all everybody riled up, we might have a show. So, anyway, down there next to the stump is where the four bags of alfalfa cubes are at. Somebody stashed them. <clears throat> no luck, huh? Uh, had a chance yesterday that I fucked up, and then we saw nothing today. I think uh, the wolves came in through here on Halloween all night. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it might make sense because we either have so we had something down at camp last night. I'll tell you that. Fucking something. Whether it was a bear or a cougar or whatever, we had something. They were howling on like every ridge last night. Really? But um, I'm going to hike down. <clears throat> I think we're a lot lighter coming out this time. Yeah, it's just a lot, a lot of miles. Oh yeah. Cool. Like, and we come up to a, they had a deer down or whatever on the main road. He's all putting his GoPro on to see what happens when we go by with a bike or whatever. The lady's like, do you have my permission to be videoing us? It's, like my ass. it's, like, it's an e-bike with a battery in it. Oh. And, that, and I was like, and I was just like, oh, I don't give a shit. And I was like, I want to see if there's a wreck for my animals. It's like, I don't give a shit about you. But I already knew that. I was like, why are you so worried about it if you didn't have a fucking battery in your bike? For sure. You know? There was a motorcycle here last night. 
That's what I'm saying. I was like, why would you be so worried about it if you know if you didn't have something to hide about me videoing or not? You know? Exactly. But whatever. People suck. So where are you going now? Uh -huh. Nobody's seen any elk in here that we've talked yeah. to or seen. And the guys that were camped next to us down there, they got a four-point muley they brought down to camp yesterday. The uh, the one that we had that I blew a sock on. I, I was in position. We didn't see it till I left. And I was fuck. He's there again. So I took off running after him, and then I must have spooked him because whatever. But after seeing the photo of it, he was bigger than we thought. Really? Yeah. They they got the deer. They came they through this way, or they maybe went up the road different. But it was just south of Fox Deep where they pulled this one. The deer out of. Was it a, like a guy and his wife or girlfriend? No. No. That's that's the. That's the bikers that we ran into oh, that gotcha. are little Karens or whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's the one that's not a fit. The guys that got the mule deer were on horses and they had grandpa, dad, and son. So it was three, three generation hunt or whatever. Well, we're up here. We got the mules all packed up. Camps broke down. This is where they were hunting in this country. Didn't get no elk. I don't know. They think they're going to drop down lower. But either way, I think we're out of here. So that's that. It's pretty country, though, to an extent. Said they had a bunch of wolves up top last night, which might make sense because we had something down in camp, too. And I don't know if it was a wolf or a cat, but it wasn't a bear. I don't know. We're going to eat a little bit of snacks and then... 10 miles back down to the truck and then pack up and head home I guess that's pretty much wrapping up the trip for Idaho for us shitty they didn't get anything while we were here at least when they were packed in the high country but oh well hopefully they get something down low maybe or whatever their plan is and hopefully we can get back down to the truck with no wrecks and no sore animals and by the time we're done, it'll be 80 miles covered and the hell of a trip to say the least. 80 miles in five days. Yeah, 80 miles in five days. Crazy. But, I don't know, it's been an experience, that's for sure. Mules do a pretty good job following, considering Donk's first time packing this trip. Karma has been the riding mule. This is really the first time she's had bags on. We'll see how this goes. Come on, girls. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you. Karma. Oh, we'll, we'll go to the trailer. We'll be fine. Don't worry about that. There's a lot of time to the trailer. Damn, didn't have to be that good. Thank you all for coming along on this journey with me and my brother packing into Idaho elk hunting. As always, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're updated for when the next video drops. Thank you.